there's a ton of small carriers, right? So what's what's the makeup of of big versus small carriers? So it's it's funny you say that. So when you think about trucking, you think about FedEx, you think about UBS, you think about JB Hunt, you think about Schneider, you think about Swift because they're mega carriers. So you see their branding and you see them all over the place. But the funny thing about it is, is that in, in true indeed enough, there's about 900,000 companies out in the trucking space right now that have less than 10 trucks. There are 651,000 that have less than two trucks. And there are only about 2,300 companies that have more than 100 trucks. So as you can see, like the trucking industry is dominated by the smaller carrier. Right. But they don't have the resources. They don't have the systems. They don't have the processes that the mega carriers are able to invest and able to deploy. And that's where you see the 80 percent failure rate. So let me let me let me park right there. There is an 80 percent failure rate for companies that get started in the trucking industry in the first two years. So out of all of the one point six million companies that I pointed out to you, 80 percent of them are likely to fail over the first two years. And there's a variety of reasons why they don't fail. They, they fail, right? So compliance is one reason, and then you got profitability is another reason. But when you when you think about compliance, a lot of those compliance is just the the repetitive. You know, hey, A plus B equals C, and that stuff's all processes, right? So that's something that when you talk statistically, statistically, that's where we struggle in the trucking industry. The trucking industry is truly driven by the small guy, but we just don't have enough of those really clear cut processes and systems to help facilitate those small guys from operating the way within efficiencies as they should. So, so if 80% of these companies are failing in the, in the first year, you said first year, first two years, something like that. First, first two years are as many companies being created today as there were five years ago, 10 years ago, is it still a vibrant startup industry? It's funny that you say that because just since July of 2020, 170,000 new carriers were started. So every every month since the pandemic started, it's been a trend of 10,000 carriers a month. And when I say carry, I mean company. So let me make sure that I, 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 I uh, make the right parallel to that. But 10,000 new businesses start up every single month. And if you do the math, 8,000 8, of them probably won't be around two years later. So it's a never ending turnover cycle. It's, a, it's, it's, it's unreal. Mm-hmm.